Okay, things are done. Spy master. I tracked the conspirators in Cherneu to great estate outside the city, where I pretended to only be a humble vendor, selling avar wares to noble Orlesians, as many Orlesians find our crafted items a good conversation piece. In the courtyard were many other traders and servants going over their goods, and I made the acquaintance of a maid who was much enamored with my frame. She proceeded to give me gossip on who was feasting with her lord that night and how the affair was mysteriously hushed with covered carriages and masks. I've written the names of those guests down on the next sheet in the cipher you gave me. The other traders did not notice, but I did. Chalked marks on the wall that could only be coded words from the scions of Andraste I wrote to you about last letter. Or notes from an even greater master all these conspirators serve. I have sketched these strange scripts from memory and will also send them to you. There are many. I will need to use three crows. HR. This secret script is, at first guess, Duke Janelle's three-year-old daughter drawing on the walls. The names of his dinner guests are very useful, however, publicly they've been feuding. Privately, it seems they and the Duke are quite cozy. I can put this information to good use. Janelle has sharply criticized us in Orlesian circles, Liliana. So this is our, um, what our spy has gotten back for us, which is wonderful. Clan Ghislaine offers its thanks to the Inquisition. We have long argued that Ameridan was one of our people to the origin of the Lords of Orlais. The reparations received from the Demerides will provide for our families in the coming winter. We honor the Inquisition for its commitment to the truth. Keeper Lavinia Ghislaine. Ooh, we got plate mail that I will not wear because I don't like it. <laughs> um, we have one more. Oh yeah, it's over here. Inquisitor, I have found an old Avar warrior family with the care and treatment of hold beasts. It was not cheap. After I persuaded him to take the job, he insisted I meet Storvacker myself. The creature mistook the lining of my coat for a bear's scruff and licked me. The Avar was much amused, saying that Storvacker must think I'm a cub with mange. Despite this, I have thought of a use for the beast. Let us send a batch of soldiers along with this warrior and Storvacker to the Avar holds to demonstrate the might of the Inquisition. We may make some allies and the Avar can help us patrol the mountains. No one else knows the prospects as well as they do. Cullen. Leliana. I would prefer we keep our new friend out of harm's way. Let us find a cave for Storvacker until her service with us is complete. That's not why we did this. If, <laughs> if that was why we did this, I would have left her there. Let me at least profit from this humiliation and send Storvacker with our soldiers to impress the other Avar. Okay. To work? That's going to take him a few minutes. Cullen is done. Apparently the sight of Storvacker marching with Inquisition soldiers has made an impression and she was an admirable combatant when helping them fight off a wyvern. We've had success brokering an exchange. Some of the Avar scouts will join ours in the mountains and we will send their hold certain goods imported from Orlais. She is an unusual addition to the Inquisition even by our standards, but I am pleased to report Storvacker has proven worthwhile after all. Commander Cullen. Tell me, Commander, would you dub this bear a roaring success, L? No, college. <laughs> we got influence. Pack on dead. At last. The augur's working to restore him, true. We'll start the offering soon. Oh. He's not here. Heard you passed Hakon's trials. Yes! Not half bad on the hunt either, I don't mind saying. Awesome. Farewell. Farewell. Do you have anything else to say? A fine hunt with the dragon. And good it's gone. God or no, they eat you out of house and home. <laughs> Farewell. Farewell. That's probably the last thing he has to say. First Thor. Any other Lowlander doesn't understand what a gift that name is. You thrash them. Farewell. Farewell. Anything else? First Thor. No, okay. Any other Lowlander doesn't understand. All right, well. That name is. You thrash them. Maybe I should walk around a little bit. Do you have anything to say? You killed Hakon. What 
matter. I would have offered to see that battle. Farewell. Safe journeys. So it's Inquisitor First Thor now. There's a good sound to it. Mm -hmm. You should use it down in the lowlands. No, they won't understand. Farewell. Safe journeys. Well met. Okay. Farewell. Safe journeys. Must talk to everybody now. Inquisitor First Thor. Can I talk to you? You killed Hakon Winter's Breath. The hold breathes easier now. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. First Thor. You'll be remembered in our legends now. Not many Lowlanders are. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. Inquisitor. Okay. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. Um, I don't think this woman is gonna have anything to say. Oh, she might. Everybody else has so far. That's not you. Question. With their hats. They have holes in the back. Wouldn't you be cold? I, I don't get that design. I just... Maybe you would... I don't know. I don't know. May I help you? I should be off. Lady, keep you. I think all the cold air would come in through the back and then it would defeat the whole purpose. You would just have warmth around your ears. I don't know. Not a super important question, but a question that I have. Alright, I don't know where that dialogue was coming from. She might have something to say. Yes, yes, I would love to come. We heard the dragon's death cries. Hakan Winter's breath is done. Is the fisherman I okay? Such a tale of this. Somebody tell me if the fisherman is okay. Farewell. Good journeys. You have a legend mark already. That's, I mean, <laughs> my congratulations. I'm sorry. Farewell. You'll get yours. Good journeys. Takes patience. Welcome again. Farewell. Good journeys. I am certain you'll get yours and it will be marvelous. You're gone. Your enemies should be impressed, Inquisitor. Oh, this is the other shop. Didn't mean to be in there. Is that the nug still? Are you a pet now? You just hang out? Okay. Inquisitor first thought. You still in here? Yes, you are. You're still in here. Why is everyone calling you first though? Did something happen? <laughs> How did you miss that? Farewell. Another time. What were you doing? See any wares you like? What were you... Farewell. Another time. You just sit in here reading and you missed all the excitement? Is, is that what happened? Hey. So, Sigrid Goldstotten will come out of exile to join your Inquisition. Yes. Do you object? It would be good for Sigrid to see what lies beyond the hold. Under the Inquisition's protection. Absolutely. The Lowlands treat mages differently than the other. Mm-hmm. I'd like to ask something. Oh. Then ask. Yep. I should be off. Farewell. She's fine. She had a good time. You've killed the dragon. Hakon finally rests. The gods mourn. The gods are joyful. The god Hakon will return. I should be off. Farewell. I'm sure it's super exciting for them. First Thor. A fine legend, Mark. 
wear it proudly. I should be off. Farewell. And that's probably the last thing. Be welcome. Yep. I should be off. Farewell. Okay. All right. We're good. Okay. We are ready to start Trespasser. Everything else, everything else is done. We've got no nothing else we can do after we do this. Beginning this quest locks us out of everything else. You're doing it again. Oh, I do apologize. Now that's gonna be in my head all day. I have no idea what song she's humming. With Corypheus dead and the threat of fade rifts and demons waning, both Orle and Ferelden have begun to raise questions about the future of the Inquisition. Divine Victoria has promised to shield the Inquisition poli from political matters for as long as possible. Eventually, she plans to call the Exalted Council, a chance to determine the role and possibly the fate of the Inquisition. So the only person we can do is Josephine. Divine Victoria will not call the Exalted Council until you are ready. We are ready. Let's go do this. The Exalted Council will be held at the Winter Palace outside Halam Sheral, thanks to Divine Victoria's negotiation with the Ambassadors. We are ready to depart at your convenience. Let's go. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlay would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. <laughs> <laughs> Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. Have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Well, you stay busy. Since Corypheus fell, I think you may have spent more time traveling than I have. It keeps me out of trouble, your worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron Deschedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. You mean Leliana? You can probably just call her Leliana in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinia. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. <laughs> um, how, how have things been? How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. Oh, with respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Victoria has proven adept at winning allies with both her intelligence and her faith. It is a blessing in these trying times. We are lucky to have her. Good. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do, and have done. 
Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Olay. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. Uh, Tevinta Ambassador? The Imperium sent an ambassador. Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Tevinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us and deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize to Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apologies somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. <laughs> uh, which old friends are you referring to? Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom Ranier. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have the chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Okay. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council, Thoreldon would have the Inquisition disband. Olay sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? I am, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that she's, she's done here. You once told me about the first Inquisition that took place 800 years ago. You said that when their battle was over, that Inquisition soldiers sheathed their swords and went home. If our battle is truly over, perhaps it's time for us to do the same. Thank you. Make her watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. I don't think you get that dialogue choice if you don't talk to her about that. Which I appreciate. Alright, speak with the Orlesian Ambassador, speak with the Ferelden Ambassador, catch up with old friends. Well, we know where we are. I don't think there's anything... Well, let's look. This is different? Maybe? Maybe not. Ooh! The first Grand Enchanter. There okay. must be something here. A bone! Found a bone. Or expensive dog treats. Alright, so that was worthwhile. <laughs> Let's go up. Will it matter? I don't know. Of course it will. Whatever it is. Josephine. It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. You scheduled a friendly chat? Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock idle chats with the Inquisitor. Of course not. <clears throat> not precisely. <laughs> the truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Oh, very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orlay, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Okay. Wait, isn't that special? I will humor my friend. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. 
and then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. What are we doing? And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. Okay. I... yeah. Thank you for thinking of me. I'd be delighted to attend. Splendid. I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> this is relaxing. Oh. This was your idea of a restful evening. <laughs> oh, wasn't it lovely? It's been so long since I've gone to the opera. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? Um. Uh. What I really enjoyed was seeing you put your duties aside for a change. I truly did. Thank you for coming. It's been too long since I just spent an evening doing nothing. That's not doing nothing. Here's to nothing. <laughs> May it happen to us more often in the future. Although maybe not this specific oh, way. Look, the encore signal. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Josephine. <laughs> that was great. I do hope you recovered from your night at the opera. Any ear ringing should go away in a day or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Call in the last few years. Inquisitor, your suggestion regarding the young man Call was excellent. He displays an uncanny ability to locate missing people. When hostile forces held our agents and we feared they would be killed if we approached, Cole was able to reach them without being detected. While he has been less useful overall at extracting intelligence, I've learned to trust his instincts about whether a target is trustworthy or malicious. Per your request, I've limited his assistance to rescue operations or attacks on clearly hostile forces. Whatever magic lives in the young man's mind, it would be poorly served by the less pleasant necessities of our work. His remarks about my family, while not germane to the mission at hand, were also greatly appreciated. Yours, Charter. So Cole's been helping Charter out. Josephine, last few years. Commander Cullen has reviewed the soldiers. I have written and re received so many letters from the Orlesian court. Our birds practically blot out the sun. We are as prepared for this exalted council as we will ever be. I know this past year has been full of formal meetings. Goodness knows I have attended many myself, but this one will truly test the alliances and friendships we have worked so hard to build. If I may offer you any advice, Inquisitor, it is this. Keep a ready smile and remember we have their attention because we are to be reckoned with. Respectfully yours, Ambassador Montelier. Leliana in the last few years. Thank you so much for your kind inquiries. I'm doing very well. Although I've been quite busy, selecting new staff for my apartments at the Grand Cathedral has taken so much longer than expected. And if you wouldn't mind, I would like to borrow Scout Harding for a few weeks to help me find more nugs. I cannot possibly hire anyone to a permanent position without first observing them in a room full of baby nugs. And all the litters I have on hand are nearly full grown. In any case, I will see you soon at Halam Sherelle. Until then, Leliana. Very, very serious about, about her nugs. Just that? Is this a dog treat? No, that's a napkin. What is that for? I have no idea what that's for. All right, let's go see what's on this side. No? Bard. Okay. Can't get in there.
Nope. No? Meh. Dog treat. Dog treat. Harden Hightown Chapter 10. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. <laughs> Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. Oh, very. And the captain of the city guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. <laughs> Inquisitor, Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you? Yeah, what did she do now? Are you in some kind of trouble? What's happened this time? So suspicious. <laughs> I'll have you know I've never been convicted of anything. Officially. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount. Provisional Viscount. Of Kirkwall. So, this is Seneschal Bran from Dragon Age 2, who had red hair. Short red hair. I, I I didn't recognize him as the same person and I still have some trouble with it, but I think the facial features are correct. He just grew out and colored his hair, I guess. Um Until Wait, he's still yeah. He's um going through your mail. So why is he here with messages from the merchants guild? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now. <laughs> well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? Oh my god. So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. <laughs> You're the ruler of Kirkwall now, all of it. That's not that big a deal. I have a really pointy crown that I wouldn't be caught dead wearing, but that's it. looks it. super uncomfortable. They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a contest now. You can't actually do that without... Too late. <laughs> Already did it. <laughs> oh I also God. drafted an alliance with the new elf-led city council of Wycombe, so Clan Lavellan has some political muscle to flex now. Oh, very. That needs to be reviewed by... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <laughs> <sighs> oh, poor Bran. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is possibly too much, Varric. I don't know what to say. That's nothing. Practically nothing. Don't mention it. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the council <laughs> and a special ceremony. It... It's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. Oh my god. <laughs> this operates those giant chains. Can I try it? <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess. <laughs> anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. And we'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time. <laughs> oh, Varric! <laughs> oh, my God. 
Oh, she probably wouldn't have chosen that last dialogue option, but it's too good to pass up. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. <laughs> of course. Oh, it's the greatest thing since I don't even know. <laughs> I'm looking for something. Maybe. Very specific. Oh, there might be dog trees out here. Something. Maybe. There's something. I got more junk. And you? Boop. Dog treat. Right there. Half finished poem. All's well, it seems. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. I gave up on it, it appears. Do I want to go this way? Or this way? Let's let's go this way. 